Hey guys, welcome back to my video. I literally got a Cookie Run Kingdom, a, a, a Cookie Run Kingdom notifications right when I'm posting a Cookie Run Kingdom video. That's really cool. But <laughs> yeah, um, um, so I have some very interesting news to tell you. Um, so first of all, Candy Diver Cookies coming to Cookie Run Kingdom, which is really cool. Um, but the second part is even more interesting because Warehound. I think that's the name. Um, yeah, it is. Is coming to Cookie Run Kingdom now. If you if you don't know what I'm talking about, if you're like Donkey Girl, who's who's Warehound? Well, it's this thing you see on the screen. Um, so yeah, he's coming to Cookie Run Kingdom. He it's the first non-playable character that's coming to Cookie Run Kingdom. So yeah, I think he's kind of underrated or. He or they? I I don't know. You can judge and debate that in the comments. Literally, Cookie Run Kingdom is literally milking the non-binary cookies. I mean, let's be honest. I mean, I'm not homophobic. I actually kind of support it, but but still, like, um, like I don't like. I'm not allowed to fully support it because I'm like Christian and whatnot. But I I sort of support it. But, but like, they're making so many non-binary cookies. I just can't tell if they're male or they them anymore like or girl <laughs> but i think he's a male because he sounds a lot like a male plus why would a warehound be a they them like you know it it wouldn't make much sense but yeah he's coming to cookie run kingdom and uh yeah he's pretty cool his little idol animation and it's pretty nice and cool <laughs> And then that's his little run. His head is extremely low, but it's it's still really cool. Still cool animation. Still smooth and nice. I mean, it actually looks really cool. And then there's a candy diver cookie. And he's honestly super cute. Like, look at him. He's so adorable. Like, his eyes, bro. And his, like, personality. He's just adorable. And, yeah, that, that's... That's in a few, that's it in a few angles, or them, I don't know the gender, and, uh, yeah, imagine if this was actually Dozer, because, like, it looks a lot like Ginger Brave, and Dozer looks a lot like Ginger Brave, like, imagine that, or, like, a relative of Ginger Brave, I don't know, and that's the, uh, <laughs> that's the, his, that's their skill, that's his skill, um, kind of reminds me of Amy EXE, if you don't know what a Amy EXE, eh, who, Amy A eh, Oh my god, I can't speak. If you don't know who Amy EX, e EXE is, it's. I think I said EXE wrong, but whatever. If you don't know who Amy EXE is, it's basically in Sonic EXE, except Amy from Sonic is just in an EXE form, and she has like that hammer. But yeah, there's Squid Inks up. There's Squid Inks uh, Magic Candy. I don't really care about that, so I'm just gonna. Yeah. Um. And then there's some sprites of Warehound, which is really cool. But I, I'm i so sad because it says Warehound is the first quote-unquote playable NPC, which sounds really sus. And then it says you cannot get them from Gotcha. You probably play them as a story during a story or event. What? No, this. King Cookie Run Kingdom news. You must be lying. Th this is fake. Like, th I wish they were actually playable, bro. Why can't they be playable? Please. Uh, it would be so cool to get wear out from Gotcha. Imagine what the the banner will look like. It would look super cool, and it would just be cool. So we're not getting him. We're not. Maybe, maybe they give the warehound after you finish the story? I don't know, bro. Uh, but if you can still get him during a story, then that's fine. But I want to have the, I want to have warehound permanently. I don't want him to have just, I just don't, I don't want it to become a temporary cookie. But, yeah. Um, that's the gotcha candy, which I won't, I don't really care about. But, uh, yeah, uh, this one right there. It has more animations and stuff like that. So, yeah, um, 
So there's some leaks of the animation. He, they're super cute. Of uh, the animation, sorry. Um, he's just adorable, bro. He kind of reminds me of Ginger Brave. I don't know why. <laughs> it's so, like, he, his movies are a lot like Ginger Brave, you know? Yeah. They're, oh my gosh, bro. His eyes were rolling around, bro. That's so cute. He's so scared when you pick him up, though. Poor guy. But yeah, that's Warehound, Cookie. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that's his, that's his movements. He's cool. He's swag. And I don't know what the heck this is. Probably some sort of sprite sheet or something. I don't know. It looks complicated. What is that? It looks like he just got this, this, this mantle or something. And then we already showed that. And, um, yeah, I don't really care about the magic candy thing. But, yeah, um, Choco Warehound looked like he died and he's just disassembled by, you know, I don't know. <laughs> but, yeah, <laughs> that's basically all I have to say. I, I think this is really cool. I did not expect a Warehound to be playable, but... It's cool anyway. I mean, it's it's unique, you know? I mean, he's, like, you know, different from the other cookies, you know? So I think it would be really cool. Plus, he might be a strong cookie, maybe. Who knows? Even though there was a very strange history between the cookies and Charco Warehound, where he got roasted and stuff like that. But, um, and he was a villain and he had to wear a dress. Um, no, I'm not saying it the wrong way. Please don't cancel me. I'm not talking about the maid dress or whatever. I'm, so, I'm sorry I had to say that, but it's not that. But he had to wear a dress, uh, a girly dress, and it was so gross and disturbing. <laughs> and I, I really hated it, but yeah. Um, anyway, uh, that's basically all I have to say. Um, so yeah. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and see you guys on the next video. Bye!